Hey there, this is Double A with another WWE Supercard video for the date of Friday, November 17th. I'm going to give you my first impressions as well as some other information to note. Uh, I'm going to try to give you a little bit more music more often so you have some, at least some sort of background sound to this. Okay. So, Season 4 Supercard has started. It's underway. First impressions of it. Obviously, as what we've all been experiencing, there's been issues with network, there's been issues with stability, all that other good stuff, just game issues here and there. And it's understandable for the most part. I've done many an online game, so I know how things could go out, how things could be affected sometime upon game launch. Um, I've mentioned on a previous video there was a game that was like undergoing a new update and the servers got affected really badly so it took them about a week or so to get back online. So I understand where things go. There's been times I've seen games that are like off for like three or four days. But at least they, they maintain some sort of contact with you to let you know what was going on, to let you know what's happening. But you know that they're working on fixing it, etc., etc. So the fact that the game going off for just a bit is a bit frustrating because I want to play just like the rest of you guys. But at the same time, they tr they really work fast to get things back up and going because I haven't really seen that much of a long delay in anything. I mean, we all, most of us, have that instant gratification where we need to be satisfied right in right here and now but the fact is we really don't wait that long for stuff to get fixed the way other games might or the way other things might occur now sometimes it seems like they may be ready they fix things and then all of a sudden all these people come up network one-on-one you prepare for five times the amount of people that you expect so if you have if you're having people over for hot dogs Typically, one person eats two hot dogs. You're going to want to make ten because they might be extremely hungry. They might have been fasting all that time. They might have wanted just to stuff their face full of the good hot dogs that you sell. But you're going to want to prepare for at least five times what you expect in. So you're going to have some sort of consistent flow. So if they've done that, fine. If not, then yeah. <clears throat> so get to the crux of things. First impressions of this game from the play aspect of it. As you can see by the front screen, there's lots of stuff to keep you busy, lots of stuff to keep you going. There's the wild mode, what you're familiar with, there's war, what you're familiar with as well as rank, but with the PCC. Um, may show you my deck later on, not today, but another time, if my decks continue to have the success it does in war mode. Well, might as well just, just show you what it's like myself. I use nothing but my legendary event cards. Now, a long time ago, I put a poll on Twitter saying, asking if you've kept your event cards, if you haven't kept your event cards. Myself, I kept mine. And you look at my deck, I have three legendary events, one regular, I have a legendary Nikki Bella, as well as a single, single Bree couple of WrestleMania 33 supports. This deck helps me win 95% of my games in war mode. So. So. Yeah, you have Road to Glory coming on. I'm not really playing it because I have so much stuff going on this weekend. And with the late start, it really puts me a little that much further behind. I try to get my stuff done by by or at least the majority of it done by Friday. So Saturday, Sunday, when it gets busy, then all I have to do is just do some wrap-up stuff instead of intensive gaming. So like I said, this week, not really playing Road to Glory, so it's not a factor this week. King of the Ring, pressure on that. Um, it may be shortened in time, but it's, you have to pay more, even more attention to what's going on. Because with, the previous one with 48 hour one then it was pretty easy to like go times without 
playing because you knew you could probably either catch up or or maintain some sort of lead or something with this one with the way it works with the way it flies by quickly you pretty much have to be on it because you really don't have time to like relax or anything plus with the fact that the top reward is just a SummerSlam, really doesn't make it too appealing right now so it works well if you're looking to do your do your challenges but aside from that if you're at the tier that i'm in there's like i said there's really not not that appeal there to do anything in terms of pouring or anything money in the bank that looks nice the graphics with that much more much more of an intensive feeling than previous money in the banks love the animations with that with the ladders with the with just the grabbing of the briefcase definitely enjoy that uh, battleground we have going on same as before um, my team is viperville good team that we have at the moment rewards for that in my bracket is you get a male beast and a couple of superstars wrestlemania SummerSlam. i am looking to try to get my females pro more so if i get a female SummerSlam out of this that can help the pro then it's going to help my deck a lot in the store they've increased some things that you get you can get monster packs you get beast packs your traditional SummerSlam and other packs and so right now, I have got up to 24 points in team challenge, and not team challenges, but personal challenges. So right now I'm going to complete the fifth one, and that one for me is to complete a Road to Glory match. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and then claim the claim the reward for that. Love the graphics in it nowadays. With the SmackDown and the Raw as well as the NXT. Though I really wish they had that dojo look to it. like we lost sound a bit. Could be a bit of buffering as well. Because the sound keeps cutting in and out. Hope you're able to still hear me. <clears throat> I don't think the game can make up its mind. In terms of sound. Then again, I never really play the game with sound, so I'm not sure if this is normal or not. Probably is. Who knows? So I got my multiple challenges done. Myself, when it comes to online reactions, whenever they say stuff, that they could tell you the most positive news in the world, but someone's always gonna have a negative take on it. So I wish that could change, but you know. So in any case, we're gonna get into claiming this ticket as well as the other one for the open challenges and we're going to open a grand challenge reward for you today which i could get either a anywhere from an elite to a titan an elite to a monster and two enhancements elite to monster i've seen the pack luck hasn't hit that well with most people so i'm not anticipating any more than an ultimate but you never know until we get into this so I'm going to go ahead and claim this and 
You get an Elite Power, an Ultimate Power, an Elite Sheamus, and a WrestleMania Dean Ambrose. Yeah. Didn't expect much, but it's worth it for like two and a half days because you never know what you're going to get. Plus, it's a freebie, so if I do get a tight end, then yeah, that'll be the day. But don't let that stop you from playing. Keep going with it. Keep flowing with it because you never know what's going to happen next. So, it'll probably come at you in, in probably two and a half days or so. Do my next grand challenge. Talk about other stuff. Until next time, this is Double A with WWE Supercard saying see you next time. And so long from ringside. Goodbye, everybody.